Hello everyone and welcome to your weekend preview here on Panthers TV with me, Sam Hurst. I hope you guys have had a great week and are just as excited as we are for this weekend's huge home game against the Cardiff Devils at the Most Point Arena on Saturday. A reminder that it's superhero themed. We can't wait to see what costumes you guys come in. Get your tickets ASAP. It's going to be a big crowd just like last week's. Now, why don't we look ahead to this weekend's action and reflect on last with your head coach, Danny Stewart. Danny Stewart joins us on Panthers TV ahead of the weekend. Danny, just the one game against Cardiff Devils. How do you think you'll match up against them there? Real great rivals from the Panthers past. How much are you and the team looking forward to the game? Yeah, really good. You know, Cardiff is, uh, you know, up there with preseason favourites and they've got a very, very deep roster and um, very, very good team, you know, very good team, They're well coached. And, um, you know, I think, I think we've, we've shown that we can match with anyone. It was nice on Sunday to have a game that wasn't a one goal game. I think it was their first in a while. And, um, but, you know, we're in every game. We're giving ourselves chances to win every game. And um, right through the lineup, our goaltending, Ford's D, and, you know, they're all contributing. So, um, yeah, I think, it'll be, I think it'll be a great, great test for us. We'll talk in a minute about what was said in the dressing room on Sunday in the first intermission. But going to the second period, first of all, is that as close as you think you can get to, to what you're wanting? They, they were relentless that period. They got those three goals. Is that kind of the model that you want from this team? Uh, you're talking the first period the on second Sunday? period. Second period, yeah. Second yeah, yeah. I think, I think, five. yeah. And I think, um, you know, I think back just early season here, our first game in Manchester. Um, I think our first period in Sheffield on the weekend as well. And then, yes, our second period against Fife. I think those are, those are what we want to be. Um, and I think, you know, for the most part, we've been almost there, but I think there's also been large sequences of games where we haven't been that team. And you can look at it two ways, like we're, we're in a good spot in the cup, you know, we're one and one in the league. So, um, you know, we've, we've played overall some good hockey in terms of results, but what I like is the optimism, not just from the coaching staff, but from the players that we know we've got a lot more. Um, and that's exciting. And that brings me on to my next point in the fact that you're 2 0 up against Fife at home, yet in the dressing room. A couple of the guys have spoken about it. I think you mentioned it that Sam Hare came in and, and just demanded more from the guys. How good is that as a coach that your player and your captain and, and they're taking the responsibility, even though they're winning, to know that there should be more? It's necessary. If, if you want to have any success as a team, you have, your leaders have to have that. Um, and you know, I, I think I was coming back into the room, and I heard him. I heard him already speaking, and I just went into my office. There was no need to me, for me to add on to it. So, um, yeah, that's that's why you appoint your leaders, and you know, it's it's huge, and that's why Sam is what he is, and, and you know, it's a, it's a great asset for not just the, the club, but us as coaches as well. And you kind of get excited to, to know that the, the guys are winning games, excepting they're not playing well. But you also think about where you could be in the future if you continue to play well and, and raise the standard even more. Yeah, of course. I mean, but, you know, again, I think as a coaching staff, we don't want to look too far ahead. Um, you know, I think, I think we man we've managed some early, early season niggles with, you know, it, you know injuries with, with, with Cooper and, um, you know, Nisk as well. And, you know, could Nisk have maybe played possibly, but, you know, we run him out there again, maybe you lose him long term and now you're in trouble. But I think it's, it's a huge credit to the club that they managed to. So Wednesday in Glasgow, we recognize that Nisk had maybe taken another turn for the worse. And um, before the end of the night, we had a player signed. And I think you've got to give the club a lot of credit for that to, to, to act that quickly and get something done and not just get a body in, but a very quality body. And, and John Bear did a great job for us this weekend. Yeah, I was going to move on to him. He, he'd not played hockey for a while, but he was plus three, I think, wasn't he? On, um, in, in Sheffield, sorry, he was plus two. He then got an assist over the weekend as well. How impressed were you that he'd come in so quickly and so settled to the systems? Yeah, very, very impressed. And, you know, we sat down with him uh, before, the, you know, before the weekend and, and, and kind of, I wouldn't say a deep dive, but a quick, quick dive through the systems. And, um, and he, he asked just really good questions. He's a smart guy. You can tell he, he reads the game and he, and he knows the game well. And um, for not playing for five, six months in a competitive game, he, he did a really good job. He didn't look out of place at all. I think he did a good job keeping things simple, not putting himself in trouble. And, you know, on the second night, we were able to run him, you know, a few more minutes um, than the night before. And, and he did a great job. 
Just the one game this weekend and a very rare Sunday off for the team, but it means that all eyes are on Saturday's clash against the Devils. Let's hear from Tim Doherty. Tim, well, Challenge Cup again this weekend. You're really on a roll in that tournament in particular. Just how are the boys feeling with the momentum that you've picked up so far? Yeah, I think uh, there's a really good feeling in the dressing room and, and amongst the group. Uh, obviously, we've set ourselves up pretty, pretty good in the Challenge Cup and had a good start. Um, just want to keep it going. Um, you know, we got Cardiff's a really good team, so we got to be ready to go for that. Um, but yeah, like you said, we're in a good spot and uh, we know how much it means, so we just want to keep it going. Well, you talk about knowing how much it means. Those photos are on the wall of the teams that have won the trophy before. I know it's a bit different to what you've been used to, but how much would going deep and doing well in this tournament mean to the dressing room? Yeah, it would, it would mean the world. Anytime you get the chance to play for a championship or a trophy at any level in any sport, in any walk of life, really, it's exciting. And um, that's the reason you play the game is to win with each other and there'd be nothing better. Of these early games, they've been really intense. Has the intensity of these early games surprised you at all? Yeah, they've been great. Um, but I think uh, that's what we're expecting. And I think each game we're getting better as a team. And um, that intensity pushes us to become better, which is, um, which is great for us. You talk about getting better as a team. Danny Stewart and other players have said we're not yet at our best. Do you think there were signs of, especially maybe in that second period against five, that that is the, the sort of... Passion, not passion, but that is a standard that you want to set yourself. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Um, is to kind of play into our standard and, um, you know, not playing to a level based on the other team. Uh, we can't just bring it against Sheffield one night and not bring it as much the next night, depending on who we're playing. But, um, you know, we had a good talk after that first period. Sam kind of spoke up and I thought we responded well in the second period. And, yeah, that's, that's kind of how we want to play. That's the second or third time I've heard someone mention Sam's speech. How important sometimes is that from a captain to just kind of, you know, stand out and, and make those comments? Yeah, he's a great leader. and There's a reason he wears the C and um, he knows that when the time is right to speak up and um, kind of get the guys going and steer us on the right path. Um, and he also backs it up with his play. So he doesn't just do the talking. He also, um, like I said, backs it up with his play and leads, <clears throat> leads by example. You mentioned the Sheffield game. That, that's twice you've run Sheffield really close. And we look at their CHL performances only the other night. They got another point. They're probably going to qualify for the last 16. How much inspiration does it take? I know you're not winning and that's what it matters. But when you're playing and you're matching them and coming so close, can you take comfort from that? Yeah, like you said, we obviously want to come away with two points in those games. But um, they're really intense games. They're a really good team. Obviously, they're doing well in uh, the Champions League. So I think that speaks a lot to this league and, and how good it is this year. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's, we can definitely build off some things from, from having tight games with them. But like I said, the next time, we, we definitely want to win. I remember when you signed and we talked about how much you're excited to be part of that Panthers atmosphere. There's been some good home crowds recently. How much fun has it been to play at the arena? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I definitely look forward to the home games and uh, the crowds have been so good. And um, very loud and I know we all really appreciate it in the room um, so yeah I just hope to see some more crowds like that brilliant thanks for joining us yeah we are excited about the weekend and we hope you guys are too tickets are selling fast so we urge you to grab your seats as soon as possible just follow the links on panthers.co.uk who's your favorite superhero we'll see you on Saturday